All right, guys, welcome to episode 11 of this Tottenham Hotspur FIFA 19 career mode. So last episode ended on a little bit of shaky ground, let's face it. I mean, it started well. We beat PSV 2-0 in Champions League and pretty much secured qualification into the knockout stages. Then in the second game of that episode, we went 2-0 up against Crystal Palace and should have realistically gone on to win that game only to come and let Palace get back into it and that finished 2-2. And then the final game of that episode, which should have been realistically the most difficult game, and was, because we couldn't even score a goal, but fortunately we stopped Chelsea from scoring a goal as well. So, we didn't actually lose in that episode, but yeah, it could have been a bit better really. Hopefully today it'll be a little bit different, we'll be uh, able to do some good things in today's episode. We'll have a look at the calendar just to see who we are facing. Obviously you can see from graphics on screen that we are starting with Champions League action. We are facing Inter, thinking this is the home leg. I want to say it's the home leg because I'm sure we played them away the first time. So yeah, this is the second and last time we'll play Inter in the group stages of the Champions League, which will round out November. And then into November, the first game we will have in November will be against Millwall in the Carabao Cup. That is the quarter-final and let's face it, Millwall gives us an excellent chance to get through to at least the semi-final uh, round. And we will finish the episode with an away match to Leicester. Now I am expecting a strong Inter team for this one and obviously we've been hamstrung a little bit with uh, Deli Alley being the only real cam option that we've got. So, obviously Dybala's still out injured, second injury of season as well, which has left us a little bit unlucky. So, that starting lineup for us, we have gone Kane up front with Deli Alley in behind. Son is playing out on the right, on the right uh, with Antina Marshall on the left. Eric Dyer was complaining before the game that he wanted to play because he thought he was in good form, so we'd give him a chance to do that. He partners Ericsson in centre of midfield. Vertonghen and Alderweire are my only real first choice options. I mean, Sanchez is on his way to becoming just as good, but not quite there yet. Trippier and Rose are at wingbacks, and Timo Horn gets a start in net. We take a look at Inter's team. It is, as we expected, a strong team. Uh, you've got Icardi up front with Kagawa in behind. Kandreva and Perisic are their wide men with Nyan Golan and Brozovic in centre midfield. Skriniar and Miranda at centre back. Skriniar, a player that I would love to sign, but don't think unless I splurge all my cash on him in season two, we will be able to get anytime soon. They have uh, Vasalko, is that? I have no idea. I'm going to assume it's Vasalko. And Asamoa at wing backs, and Handanovic is in the net. Strong team that we're going to have to get past. All right. Let's get as best, lads. I think did we have, what, were it a 1-1 one, one or a 0-0 nil, nil draw when we played them the first time? So, obviously, uh, quite like to get the three points this time. We have pretty much secured qualification in the Champions League group, but I think a win here would pretty much guarantee us first. So if we can pick that up, then all the better. Ball fed through to Kane. Skriniar, Eriksen falls onto it, and that is just wide by Eriksen. Nyan Golan. Nyan Golan were uh, one of last year's ultimate team hacks, weren't he? You uh, slapped him up front with some chemistry cards on, and he became like the best striker in the world, which I think is what they're doing with Rabio this year. Oh. Horn, get it away sloppily to Perisic. Trippier recovers and then gives it away again. We complain though when we do get it clear. Because at least then we've got it well away from our goal. Horn, well done Jan. Super Jan. All the way back to Horn. Looking for Ali. Ali looks to knock it on for Rose, but Rose can't get to it. Deli Ali tracking back to make up for the fact that Rose has been caught upfield. Well done, Ali. Big interception. As Dyer finds Son. That could fall kindly. Kane didn't move quick enough. We are nearly at half time. Perisic on a yellow card, of course. It's got Alderweireld travelling with him, though. Well done, Jan. 
Can we get away here? Have we got time? No, we haven't. Referee blows his whistle just as we're trying to wait on counter. Spurs nil, into nil. Is he going to be strong enough to hold him off? He's not. Brozovic does get back. Danny Rose not going to win headers, is he? He's not the tallest of chaps. Big save by Timo Hornrack from Kagawa. Doing a lot of ball watching. Danny Rose needs to get back. Well done, Toby. Marshall could be off. And all he could do was toe poke it forward. And Kane were never going to get on into that, were Are we going to be on for another boring nil-nil draw with this? Oh, Inter have got him behind. Oh, great block by Trippier. How did he block that again? Marshall, Kane, finds Son. Come on, Sonny. What can you do here? Finds Ali. Ali tried to toe poke it through to Kane. Ericsson's through. And we've done it. We have finally broken the deadlock. It will not be a boring 0 0 draw. Christy and Ericsson with that beautiful bursting run. That was just. I'm amazed at myself. <laughs> I'm not. That's quite big headed. But that were well worked football. Some great touches on that one. And Ericsson took it perfectly. Right foot keeper did get a hand to it but nestled perfectly in that bottom corner now I've got a couple of subs waiting to come on well done Vertonghen again I keep saying that don't I well done Vertonghen oh Marshall could be in come on Anthony he's stronger than that Nyan Golan sends it forward for Balde Rose need to catch up Oh, great save by Timo Horn. The substitutions have just taken place. It was uh, Mora coming on for Marshall. We've put Mora on the right and shifted Son across to the left. And Victor Wanyama has come on for Eric Dyer. Just gives a little bit more strength in middle at Park. Another into corner, 83 minutes on clock. Oh, Horn spilled it. Lucas wins a header somehow. Wanyama's poor control does us no favours. But we have got numbers now. Kane will chase. Kane wins it. Oh, Kane, you're meant to play that back to safety. Well done, Toby. Although he's only get it to nine goal. And we're not out at Woods yet. Oh, big block by Rose. Horn, come. Well done, kid. Oh, it's gone over the top to a card it. Rose, oh, off the woodwork. Trippier scrambled away. Ericsson scrambled away. Final whistle. We hold on. Just about hold on. We get the victory to a, another victory in Champions League. I'm pretty sure that secures us uh, being top of the group when it ends. We've got one game left against Barcelona, but I'm pretty sure that we have uh, secured first place in group now. Tottenham won. Inter, nil. There we go then. Carabao Cup action, starting lineup for Millwall. McLaughlin, Wallace, Cooper and Meredith at back. Sangare, is that in the net? Well, you saw it anyway. Spurs lineup will be up in a minute. Look through some of these animations, just testing out a different editing method at a minute. Show the Tottenham lineup. they have gone for quite a lot of rotation. Timo on in net, as you can see. Aurier at right back. Ben Davis at left back. Sanchez partners Alderweireld at centre back in this one. Frankie de Jong is playing that Christian Eriksen role with Victor Wanyama next to him in the centre. Lamella is behind Arp up front and Son and Lucas are going to provide the width. Right. Weakened team, but also weakened opponents. That should put us in quite a good place. And we have just beat Inter 1 0. Although now I've said that, I've probably cursed my Senana. Aurier completely missing that header. And Alderweireld, well done, Sunshine. Oh, we give that away stupidly. What with that, Eric? Millwall are cutting us apart quite easily here, but well done, Davinson Sanchez. Fires that forward for Lamella. Lamella can get a turn. Here's Arp. Oh, great save by Sangare. That were a quality save, although obviously 
Jan Fita Arp not the finished article by any stretch. Oh, we somehow put that in. How? Keeper came to punch it and uh, Lamella that got up. Yeah, Eric Lamella strikes again. How did that go in though? We whipped in, put it right in front of Keeper. Comes to punch it, misses completely and Ericsson just sticks nut on it. I'm not going to complain because we've scored a goal, but Keeper should have done better. Come on. Oh, Wizards defence, lads. Got a bit lucky then. Up. Thought we were going to show a bit more strength then. Oh, big block by Portuguese Sanchez. And his son. Knocks it out wide for Arp. Arp going to cut back inside. Going across field. Mora losing the ball. Well done, Victor Wanyama, though. Wanyama. Through to Arp. Here's Lamella. Lamella takes a crack. That worked far off. It were high and wide. Panicked a little bit. Probably had a bit more space than I expected. But we are where uh, easily the keeper were beaten from that corner. It's worth taking some shots like that, I think. Oh, well done, Ben Davis. McLaughlin with a good block, though. I don't know what Wanyama were playing at then. Sanchez letting men get in behind him. Oh, Brian! Ooh, 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 side netting. We felt this curse before, haven't we, in this career mode? Facing smaller teams. I think we used to struggle against smaller teams in that Liverpool career mode as well. Like, they would play a weakened team and then they'd turn up all plucky and determined to beat us. I really want Arp to find another goal. I want him to get as many as possible and start building some confidence because he is having to do a big job playing backup for Harry Kane, let's be honest. Kane probably, I think I said it in last episode, I'm not saying it's best striker on FIFA, but he is like one of, if not the best strikers in the world for my money. So asking a young kid like Arp to play as backup for him, it's no mean feat. Son were never going to get in there, what? he'd already stopped his run. Wanyama is having an awful game. Every time he gets a touch, he just fumbles it at his feet. I think he might have to come off at half-time. Horn just about saves him, though. Big punch by Horn. Nodded on by Hart. Well done, Frankie de Jong. Asking big things of him as well, really, when you think that he's playing in the uh, Ericsson role in centre of midfield. Oh, I'm hoping we're going to have time for Lucas to open up. Never mind. Tottenham 1, Millwall 0. So we have made that change at half-time. Victor Wanyama has gone off and Harry Winks has come on in his place. Could have brought Dyer on, but trying to build Winks and a few other players with training. Harp's never going to beat his man. He's not quick enough. We are working on his sprint speed. He's a bit like Kane in that regard, though. He's not exactly the quickest player. Oh, side netting again. We are letting Millwall turn us inside out whenever they get anywhere near our 18-yard box. If that were a bigger team, it was side netting because Horn got a save, apparently. What are we saying? We're just not defending well enough. said this has come back to bite us another corner as well just awful defending and bad keeper position Horn couldn't get anywhere near it because he can football and striker just gets his nut on it there's Frankie de Jong lump that up at top looking for Son can he keep it in he can't just to cut in here's Lucas Moura up oh, and then up just again fumbles it at his feet second sub at game then we are bringing Christian Eriksen on Frankie de Jong going off de Jong's had a good game but Eriksen's just a much better player at the minute hopefully he can inspire something great all right throw short to Lucas here is Eriksen
That's what I'm talking about. Ericsson comes on pitch and within seconds gets an assist. Son Hyung Min, right place, right time, back of the net. Just Ericsson just knocks it turn and a knock on to Son who's cut inside. Wallace blasts that upfield. Davis is caught upfield. The ball watching lads. Good save by Horn. If we were playing a better team though, we'd have struggled in this game. Three minutes of added time remaining. Here's Mora. Finds Lamella. To Arp. Ericsson knocked off the ball. Arp trying to win it back. Ericsson on the ground pleading for a free kick. Don't matter. Referee blows the whistle. We do get the victory. We are through to the semi-final at Carabao Cup. Tottenham 2, Millwall 1. Look at the other quarter-finals then. QPR had to beat Crystal Palace on penalties. The Championship team have knocked out Premier League team on penalties. I don't know whether that means we should want to get QPR in next round or not now. Nottingham Forest, Man City, Everton and Watford still to play as well. I'm going to assume that they'll be tomorrow. So we'll have to wait to see who we get in the Carabao Cup draw. But we are through to the semis. That's all that matters. The uh, table makes a little bit of grim reading at the minute, doesn't it? Let's be honest. Spurs are down in eighth. But then when you look at games played, we've only played 13. Whereas teams above us played like 14 or even 15. If we can win both of them games in hand that we've got, then we will be right back in that shuffle. Maybe like a point behind Man United. A very miserable, rainy King Power Stadium for this one. Some starting lineups then. Leicester starting with Schmeichel in goal. Back four of Correa, Correa. Correa? Where did they get him? Maguire and Lima, anyway. Marty and Ndidi. Shop, Madison and Pereira. And Vardy up front. And we're then we're back to a full strength lineup. Hugo Lloris in goal. We've got Trippier, Alderweireld, Patongan, and Rose as my back four. Dyer and Eriksson are sitting in centre of midfield with Son, Ali and Marshall as my attacking three and Kane up front on his own. Now this is going to be a much more difficult test than Millwall was because it's a Premier League team and a team that knows us a lot better. But hopefully we can still get the job done. Well done Deli Ali. Kane looking for Marshall, finds him. Marshall keeps a hold of the ball, looking to feed in Danny Rose, but Schopf is there to cut that out. I can't believe they've got Garay. Back to Ericsson, to Marshall, looks for Ali. Oh, what were that, Deli? You were looking for Ericsson then. That's the man that you were looking for. Well done, Marshall. Ericsson again. Oh, Kane. Ball hits the defender instead of going through to goal and Leicester could be on a counter again. Oh, accidentally tackling a player that had already passed the ball. Not good. And well done, Hugo. Oh, Deli Alli's been done by Amate. Here's Schupf. Vardy in behind. Easy save for Hugo, though. Angle were a bit too tight. Maguire finds Ndidi. Here's Madison. Pereira back to Madison. Ericsson with him. There's Lima. Hugo, easy save. Nearly at half time, still nil nil. We can't afford to be getting draws. Good header by Trippier, a good defensive header. Only about 15 seconds left of this half. It's probably going to be the last action. Leicester have got one chance to uh, do some. Ericsson lumps that away. That should be it. There we go. Referee blows whistle. Nil-nil at half time at the King Power. Yep, Leicester corner. All right, come on, lads. Clear that. Ericsson does. We've got nobody ready to run onto it, though. Oh, that'll be a goal kick. Over it, pass. Didn't make its way through. There's Dyer. Oh, Dyer, that pass were mouldy. They were minging. Trippier having to scramble to try and get back.
good blocking end by Toby, but we should have not let Leicester get down that wing. All right, substitutions then. Dyer is going off and Ali is dropping into that central role so that Lamella can go in at camp. And Lucas Moura has come on out wide on the right with Son going off. A little bit of pace on that right wing. Now players are going to be getting slow. Also, Deli Ali, a very good tackler. So should be able to do everything that Dyer can do with relative ease. Well done, Danny Rose. Oh, that were a bad challenge. That's got to be a yellow card at least. No? Referee lets us get away with it. I don't know how we got away with that not being a yellow card. That were god-awful. Lamella with a big block. Tame effort in end, weren't it? Again, just not working out, is it? Could we set Mora off, though? Mora could be in. Here's Ericsson. Oh, Ericsson. Roof of the net. Schmeichel with a save. How did he not place that in bottom? Schmeichel got so lucky then. Schmeichel going to get an head. Oh, we've got an head on it again. <laughs> was that Lamella again? No, it was Deli Alley. Thought we were going to have a second headed goal where keeper came out and got caught in nowhere. Like no man's land then. All right. Probably got one final attack in us. Silver wins the header. Can we find the follow up? Delhi does. There's Lucas. Trippier. There's Ali. Oh, looking for Marshall. Now Leicester could have that one final uh, attacking him. And there we go. Ref blows his whistle. Boring nil nil draw for the second game in a row to end episode. Still, we had lost. That's summer, at least. Well, that weren't the best end to an episode, was it? Let's be honest. League form has been pretty shaky, really, this season. Champions League form has been pretty good. Carabao Cup form has been pretty good. We threw to the semi finals of that, we threw to the knockout stages at Champions League. But league form seems to be suffering. It's frustrating. Stuff like that is frustrating. But, you know, season's got a long way to go yet. And we've still got like two games in hand in league get them six points from them two games in hand and we are right back up here on United's tail. For now though, that is going to be the end of today's episode guys, so if you enjoyed it, make sure you twat that thumbs up button. If you want to see how season does progress, how career mode progresses, don't forget we've also got as Doncaster Rovers my player career mode, there will be Pez content coming at some point next week as well. So if you want to keep up with all that stuff, then twat that subscribe button as well. And other than that, cheers for watching guys and I will see you next episode.